scholars, this is Missy, and it is reading time. I want you to shout, it's reading time. We will read an engagement text and a decodable during our lesson. Materials. So go ahead and put your thinking caps on. Ready? We have three new learning targets for our lesson. Please follow along with me as I read them. Our first learning target says, using evidence from the text, I can answer questions about the text, the life cycle of moths and butterflies. The second learning target says, I can read the high frequency words, another, inside, isn't, pretty, process, similar, usually, and your. The last learning target says, I can read the decodable text, the life cycle of moths and butterflies. Transition song. Gather round together, together, together. It's time to hear a story, a story, a story. It's time to hear a story and say what you've learned. Read aloud. Listen carefully as I read the engagement text, The Life Cycle of Moths and Butterflies. At the end, I'm going to ask you a few questions, so listen closely. Butterflies and moths are insects. They are called advanced insects because they have a complete life cycle. This means that each of the four stages of their life cycle looks completely different and serves a different purpose in the insect's life. The four stages. Egg. The first stage is the egg stage. A female butterfly or moth lays an egg, usually attached to a leaf or stem. Larva. A caterpillar or larva hatches out of the egg. A caterpillar is a worm-like creature that has legs. A caterpillar usually has some sort of interesting pattern on its body and sometimes has small hairs. This stage is when the most frequent feeding and most rapid growth occur. The larva sheds its skin several times to allow for the growth. Pupa. The chrysalis or pupa stage is when the real transformation begins. During this stage, the caterpillar rests and forms a brown or green covering over its body. The structure of the caterpillar breaks down and begins to take the form of an adult insect while it is inside the chrysalis. Adult. The imago or adult stage is the last stage. A beautiful butterfly or moth emerges from the pupa. During this stage, the insect is most mobile and can mate and lay eggs. Adult butterflies and moths may also migrate. Question and answer. Now let's talk about what we just read. My first question is, what type of text is this? This is a nonfiction informational text. My next question is, what are the four stages in the life cycle of butterflies and moths? The four stages are egg, larva, pupa, then an adult. The next question is, in the text, we learn that the pupa stage is when the real transformation begins. What does transformation mean? Transformation means to change or changing into something new. The next question is, the adult butterfly emerges from its chrysalis as an adult. How would you describe the word emerges? To emerge means to come out or appear. Here is my last question. Why does the larva need to shed its skin?
The larva sheds its skin so it can grow because it is growing bigger. If you made it through all of those questions, I want you to give yourself a round of applause. Woodwork. It's time for us to look at some high frequency words and add them to our snap or trap chart. Remember, we put words that play fair or follow the rules that we know in the snap column. And words that don't play fair or are not spelled as we would expect in the trap column. Here we go. Here's the first word. Another. In this word, we see the schwa sound spelled A, as we have been talking about. But there is also a second schwa sound, the O, N. And then the last syllable has the sound third. But when a word has two schwa sounds, it is tricky. So another goes in the trap column. Here's our next word. Pretty. This word has two syllables. First, we have a closed syllable, which should sound like pret, but we hear prit. The second syllable, t, does make the sound that we'd expect. This word had one pattern we expected, but one that was tricky. So pretty is a trap word. Here's our next word. Inside. I hear two syllables in this word. First, we see a closed syllable, in. Next, the syllable side has a magic E, which should make the I sound like it does. This word is a snap word. Our next word is, isn't. This word is a closed syllable with a contraction. We say all the letter sounds that we see. Isn't is a snap word. Here's our last word. Similar. I see that the first syllable, sim, is a closed syllable with a short vowel, as we'd expect. The second syllable is the same, a closed syllable that sounds like ill. The last syllable, though, has an R controlled A. It should sound like R, but it doesn't. It sounds like er. Let's put this word in the trap column. Fluency. Now we will read our decodable reader for the week, the life cycle of moss and butterflies. Try to remember these high frequency words and as we read together, jump up every time you hear one. The words are another, inside, isn't, pretty, process, similar, usually, and your. Watch for the blue underlines to let you know when to jump. Here we go. Do you think butterflies and moths are animals or insects? You're right. Butterflies and moths are both insects. As you can see, we have one high frequency word, your. Butterflies and moths are similar to each other. They both have wings with pretty patterns. They can both fly and they both have four stages of life. We have two high frequency words starting from the top. We have similar and pretty. Don't forget to jump every time you hear a high frequency word. The first stage is the egg. A mother butterfly or moth lays an egg on a leaf, a stem, or on another object. We have one high frequency word, another. The second stage is the larva. This is also called a caterpillar. A caterpillar is sort of like a worm with legs. It eats a lot and grows very quickly. The third stage is the pupa. While inside the pupa, the caterpillar begins to transform into a butterfly or moth. We have one high frequency word, inside. The adult stage is the last stage. The caterpillar has turned into an adult butterfly or moth. The adult has wings. The wings usually have a pretty pattern on them. The adult is able to mate and lay eggs. We have two high frequency words on this page. 
usually, and pretty. Isn't this process amazing? Can you think of any other insects that have a life cycle that is similar to the moth and the butterfly? We have a few high frequency words. Starting from the top, we have isn't, process, and similar. Closing reflection. Which high frequency word were not tricky for you to read? Which were tricky for you to read? You did a great job reading today. Don't forget to practice reading for at least 20 minutes every single day. Make sure you read with fluency, meaning that you are reading with expression at just the right speed and with meaning. I can't wait to see you next time. Keep up the great work.